KV? Oh, I'll show you the KV. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, maybe get a little closer with your tire. You can just pop this KV real easy. There's oh, I see. I got you. Come get it. It's right in the open. Oh Whoa. my god! Oh boy, Luther! That was oh, uh, Lord. very cinematic. <laughs> oh lordy coming! I on the SU-100 like aiming and I'm like, oh wait, I should keep the KV-2 around. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I do like that a lot. Pop in the smoke from the tiger. That's oh, really, don't you love that? That's yeah, really I cinematic. That. Hey! That's got the launcher, yeah. Don't shoot me. <laughs> I saw that. All right, howdy boyos. Welcome back to Gates of Hell today with an exclusive first look at their actual player versus player multiplayer. Today, I'm joined by a bunch of the developers and testers of the closed beta of Gates of Hell for a little 2v2 multiplayer game. I've been told, by the way, that if you guys really like to see more, please let me know, because if you do like to see more, the devs, testers, and myself will definitely jump into some more PvP. All you have to know is that I picked the Doctrine in mid-war that has to do with myself getting a Tiger for half of my Doctrine points. So my goal was to hold the line, eventually get the tiger out, and try to do work with it. Though that didn't really work out 100% as I planned. Major shout out to the devs for uh, inviting me for a little PvP session. I hope to do a lot more. This is very promising indeed. Hope you guys enjoy. Cheers. As you can see, we start with 250 points. Because if my team is to perform kills, it will be subtracted from the enemy team. So, kill points, yeah, we, we made it so that kills penalizes the other team and not uh, favors you. So that way, if you're winning 900 and they are at 500, they can still turn the, t the game around. Because you're not assured to win just by killing their troops. I like that change. Um, I was very concerned about Clawback, and after trying it out, it does appear that if you are losing, it does really give you that moment, that ability to claw back, and so I like the change so far that I've tried it. Mm -hmm. We definitely want to have it so that if you're losing, that you have every incentive to fight back because and have a chance to win. Although I'm still a little bit unsure about how it changes the the length the length of game. Not that that's a, a huge. It increases change. it slightly, but we have uh, we have room for that. Yeah, I was going to say, I actually prefer, I mean, I think we talked about this a while back, and I think we all came to the sort of, well, maybe not agreement, but we came sort of to the conclusion that most people have like 35 and 45 minutes somewhere in that is like their, that's probably like my perfect Men of War, Call to Arms, Gates of Hell sort of, you know, multiplayer game time, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say games now run for around... Well, it very much depends on if there's comebacks or not, but usually 35 minutes. It certainly depends, I think, on the audience you're, you're capturing, too. Uh, I know that casual games, they opt for something shorter, they want something like 18 minutes. I think the audience that plays uh, real-time strategy games and complex strategy games like this, I think they are looking for a more engaged experience that lasts like 30 or 40 minutes or so. I think it's generally more uh, fulfilling. Yeah, no, I can I can agree with that. You can always decrease the uh, the victory points to win and have that's, a constant right, right. shorter game, yeah. but you will have less time to enjoy the late game with all the uh, doctrine tier three units and stuff like that. The big toys. But the, toys. the modularity of the settings allows for everybody to have a go at whatever settings they want, which I think is great. Well, clearly, if you're not winning before the, the big stuff becomes unlocked, you're just doing it wrong. <laughs> I already feel like I'm weighing down my team. <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels so weird not being familiar like uh, with like what to expect, because obviously the bots play a certain way. and Yeah. That's true. Human on human is always going to be that little bit different. But you got Kiel. Kiel knows what he's doing. Like he's going to have to carry me, so I hope so. Oh no, this is... Oh, dear me. 
Them grenades. See, the thing is, I'm assuming that, well, some if not all of you have played to a degree already, so you know kind of like what the goodbyes are, and I'm out here like messing around with the Straf Battalion, which I'm not even sure is a goodbye in multiplayer. Oh, but... yeah, no, I don't think we. you have to defend too much the fact that we have vastly more experience in multiplayer, especially against other humans than you do, so, so no worries. If someone's watching you thinking like, man, why is he losing? Uh, there's definitely an explanation for that. Well, you I should get... know, Sherman, is if you open the Doctrines menu, you see the units are tiered, 1, 2, and 3, yeah. and they unlock at a certain timestamp. So at 5 minutes of the game, Tier 1 will unlock, and uh, Doctrine units really help to create the backbone of your army. They are supposed to be very specific units that will enable you to perform the sort of gameplay of your Doctrine. Like, so defensive uh, or aggressive... Yeah, gotcha. exactly. So you don't see the doctrines that the enemy has, but um, when you start seeing those those uh, buys, you can infer what they have by reading their units, and then you can sort of play ahead of the game about what will their next move will be. Yeah, as you gain more experience, you start to recognize those very unique buys, like that uh, 38T that has the German flag over the top. Uh, it's, oh my god. That tells you immediately what uh, what doctrine they are, and, and you can infer some strategic advantage from that. Right, yeah, you can figure out what other units they may or may not bring later on in the battle. Precisely. Mm -hmm. For example, we're playing mid-war, and in mid-war the German Tiger is, I think, a very, very strong tank, if not the strongest. So if you see that somebody has the German offensive doctrine, you can infer that they will be dipping into their Tiger eventually. Right. That costs a lot, so you can anticipate that they will be banking for it, and you can try to take the initiative while they are saving for it, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's right. We just had a long internal discussion about that, and that's exactly right. I mean, that person is going to be banking, you're going to be noticing not very many Doctrine units from them, maybe less map presence, and that, that would indicate they're banking for their uh, high-value asset. I like how this has already turned into a, uh, a World War One style battle in the south. I just have been digging foxholes, and I think, uh, I think Rob's is also just digging foxholes like a crazy person. Yeah, I'm trying to set up a defensive line. My men have been trained like the French, and they believe that what they learned in World War One was perfect, and they will not adapt their strategy. But remember, just, just grenades. Imagine. <laughs> oh, I learned something the other day that I was really proud to learn without having to ask anyone for it. Um, I guess oh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm giving away a certain buy right now, but uh, I realized that engineer vehicles have a engineer aura, which replaces engineer equipment. Um, or I, mm -hmm. I don't know if regular ammo trucks do that too, but I realized that engineers only have like, you know, X or Y amount of, of stuff. But then with an engineer vehicle, my uh, en engineers are able to like replant more AT positions or anti-tank uh, traps and sandbags and stuff like that. Um, and I was actually really excited to learn that because I was wondering how I was able to get more equipment for my engineers, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe they have a resupply uh, radius aura around them that is highlighted, and yeah, that's that's a useful way to just... Yeah, you, and uh, they, they also it. resupply repair kits. Oh, really? Due to the Ooh. nature that they're limited now, it be they become a r really useful vehicles. I like that that new dynamic of having to track down extra supply kits or, or repair kits from other vehicles. Uh, I find that to be very dynamic. Oh, do they run out when you use them? Yeah, they run out. So, oh, like, I'll, okay. for instance, I'll even I'll set I'll like reroute a uh, a lower tier tank that I might have on the field already and bring it closer by so that the uh, repairs can use those repair kits. And, I didn't uh, even know that. It creates, yeah, it creates a really interesting dynamic. Yeah. Well, it's good to know, because I, I actually was wondering why sometimes after, especially... Uh, you would give the command and it wouldn't happen? No, I was going to say, uh, so for example, in the first mission, uh, the, the, the one that is available in the open beta as well, I had a 
Panzer III or whatever, and I used it as my main pushing force because, you know, it was the strongest tank I had available to me, I felt like. And after a certain while, I realized I just ran out of repair kits, and I was like, how? I never... You know, I knew I like I never saw them drop all five of them on the ground, but it explains a lot now I know that they actually use them up. That's right. It is it does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you figure it out, it, it yeah, as I said, I, I really like it. It creates a couple of interesting scenarios where it, that is now a new resource that you have to manage. Oh! Is Kiel counter sniping? My sniping? Oh my goodness. If you buy a sniper, I will do buy it. A <laughs> This is the way. I like it. I deserve that. No, every, I entirely deserve it. Oh, yes, you do. Leave me alone. I'm still really getting used to the grenade throwing in this game. I always overcook my damn frags. Yeah, I saw yeah. I actually, grenade. We may end up uh, up, like, up timing it. But uh, I... we, we decreased it mainly for the AI. I honestly find that I never cook grenades anymore, like, compared Ditto. to Men of War, uh... I don't like how you always cook grenades in Men of War, because it yeah. made the AI pretty incompetent, but, um... I mean, like... Yeah, I... that's, that's a fair point, but now we might be too far in the other direction, where I, I never find a need to cook it, so, uh... But who knows, maybe, uh, it depends on the battlefield a little bit, and it depends on... Well, I feel like part of it comes down to you can't unlike in men of war you can't just run soldiers into machine gun fire anymore <laughs> yeah that's that's very true i noticed that's that. that's a very good argument yeah did my grenade launcher just have a artillery sound or was that something else am i being artillery by you rob no i think that's background sound oh i gotcha it was very uh very like almost the exact same time so it's it looked very cinematic Deciding on a strategy on how I'm going to push forward against the mid. Tell you me don't. about it. That's a strategy. You don't? I just. Yeah, you, I you just back. leave it be. Leave it be. You go home. I go <laughs> home. You know what? I don't feel like this piece of land is all that important to me anymore. What would Stalin never, say? About never that? was. It was always rightfully German, actually. <laughs> Alright. Oh, come on. Alright. New strategy decided on. I shouldn't be saying this stuff out loud. No, let us know. Let us know. We'll <laughs> run, run, it, run it by us and we'll tell you if it's a good <laughs> one or not. I'll yeah, crowd please run it. it. You guys can tell me if it's a good, good or bad strategy. I'm starting to think that a medic and multiplayer might actually be really useful. Uh, oh, it's very useful, but it's most useful on a large game where you can take care of being that support role. Oh, Whereas with, like, in a multiple 2v2, players. everybody's like really into doing their side and right. less of counter helping each other. But I think it would be really cool if there's somebody that deals with support, building trenches, medics. Uh... Yeah, to revive something like uh, I like them for if I specialize into something like snipers. Though that's a high value asset, I want to be able to revive. Uh, you know, same with officers. Art uh, I mean, they have benefits that you can't just pick up off the ground, right? So those are people you want to revive. Right, officers. Uh, they in they uh, reduce your CP, right? If I remember reading yeah. correctly. Yeah. Yeah, they, they maximize your army because they are, you know, you become a higher... Uh, They're basically a logistics unit. ...army uh, contingency by acquiring an officer. Right. It's supposed of, to represent that. Oh, I was just going to comment that I, I feel like officers right now need a some sort of mechanic that encourages you to keep them closer to the front because as it is right now, you can kind of just buy them and put them in the back. Oi! Oh, oh here it is. Oh yeah, when I said it, I, I decided on a new strategy. That's it. That's you the whole strategy. Money. It's a mortar. <laughs> that's that's the tweet. That's the tweet, nice. 
Thanks. I appreciate oh, you no, carrying no, 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 me, no, no, by no. the way, so far. Part of me, it's true. No, I was, uh, I was telling you, I appreciate him, uh, him, 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 him uh, carrying me so far in this game. Have I? Yeah, you've, you captured two flags, I've just been holding mine. Well, uh, uh, here's my new strategy, sorry to interrupt you, Kula, and you'll see it directly at mid right now, and it's gonna look a lot different in a second. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> now then. I see, I see. What could this possibly be? I Wait, mm, is this smoke? My flamethrower is going to enjoy what comes oh, next. Oh, good lord, no, please. <laughs> Actually, that's a great idea for a buy to be in the middle of a smoke run is a flamethrower. Wait, I killed an artilleryman? Oh. That might mean you're hitting close to the home. If, uh, I think it was a stray bullet know. though, that's pretty crazy. In go 40 seconds, <laughs> the tier 2 doctrines will go out. Okay. And you will notice also, Sherman, the CP in the game augments, so from 100 it will go to 120. Oh, okay. Uh, like We try to represent how, you know, you can field more things. Gotcha, okay. Rob, can you stop? I built, <laughs> I built that foxhole. Oh, really? Yeah. Citation needed. So I bet it was really Rob. Rob's who built the uh, foxhole. And yeah. You just happened to find it. No, I know that flamethrower. I see that flamethrower infantry. I'm uninvented. <laughs> un <laughs> un engaging with that flamethrower infantry. I respect him, he has his own life, he can stay away from mine. What is that? I mean, it's some sort of- oh, there it is. I see. Ah, there it is! Oh my god, the flamethrower hey, on a minimap looks crazy. Uh, what's going on, Zom? I was yeah. gonna say, we'd get a chance to get mine to Rob's side. Say again. When you get a chance, glance at Rob's side. Oh, I like that. Wait, Remind me to play with Rob's more often. <laughs> <laughs> I don't often play multiplayer. That's why when you're around, I need to know who to choose. I keep him uh, enslaved in other things. I can only play <laughs> multiplayer. <laughs> you deprive us of this. Well, that charge gave me a lot of points. Thank you very much indeed. Very much indeed. It Ooh, was very pleasing. Five L E I G. Oh, that's a KV, I think. Ah, excellent. Uh oh, that sounds like not the response I want from my opponent. <laughs> <laughs> More fodder. I don't know what you mean. My medic is about to become an actual combatant if you push any closer, Rob. I mean, if he technically hasn't taken the Hippocratic Oath, <laughs> give, that, give that sucker an MP40 and send him to the front. I mean, that's all I'm saying. I'll, I'll, I'll ask him. Wait, what have you been hitting me with? Um. Hmm. 
I'm gonna need you to buy a, an auto cannon just because they sound so good. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair <laughs> argument. That's a fair oh, argument. Good. Ah, there you go, matey. A martyr? Who buys martyrs? Well, well, that's illegal. Smoke as well. If you manage to conceal it well enough, it is a very, very useful weapon. It is Accurate a very gun. They are very dark. Wait, did Rob's give up on my side? I see how it works. Uh, I think he just found that there was less strategic value in pushing that particular <laughs> I'm the I'm the political spin doctor. I just rephrase everything so that I got gotcha. you. He's readjusted his aggressive tendencies to a separate geographical area. I'm having a great time over here, actually. Just uh, you know, this the pace is slower in this game. You don't have to feel like things are just too slow, and they can just be like that. It gives you a little bit more time, and I, and I do like that, because it gives you some time to actually flesh out more complex strategic options. I'm just scared. I'm just expe expecting something big any moment. Oh, I mean, Fear, that is to be good. Expected. That is normal. Yeah, that is to be expected. <laughs> you should be sweating. You should be in pain. You should feel something in your gut, kind of like a, like a sting. Well, I have all of those else. things Is that on. just me? <laughs> I have all those things going on right now. I should go to the doctor. Why is all my cover gone? That is not nice. Uh, a lot of mortars have been blowing up chicken coops and pieces of wood and spare debris, so that's been helping me. I mean, remember, bodies are also valid cover. <laughs> Uh, the Stalingrad defense. <laughs> what I need here is just more presence of things. Yeah, this will do. Oh, Ooh, what does that there mean? You go. I need many more things. Okay, a sniper in multiplayer in this is way more fun than in, in Men of War. I feel like I'm actually taking out. Are you using third that. person? Uh, oh no, I'm actually letting him do the shot. I'm, I'm not trusting myself. I should do that actually. It's really well, fun in, in Kong. Yeah, it's it's. Really fun. These long ranges, it's a bit difficult with these scopes, but the. Uh... Yeah, I've done a little bit of popping some heads with some scopes in my time in this game. It's really fun. In multiplayer, I think you obviously have a lot less time to do that, but just letting them do their thing is very effective. Unit. Oh, wait, do you have one? <laughs> I was wondering who stole my kill! <laughs> well, Kewl and I are exchanging sniper fire, oh like nobody's God. business. Yeah, I, I may have bought one. Enemy of the gates, any day of the week in here. Oh, it's oh such a fun movie. Gosh, oh, if you God. don't watch that, like, once a year, you're... Oh, really my God. That was a very good landing of that snap of that mortar fire. I'm not really sure where to aim with this scope because it seems like I have to aim a little bit of. I'm just, is there a bullet drop? Oh, never mind. I think I got that. No, guy. bullet drop is accounted for automatically. I got you. I mean, we may implement um, manual countering of bullet drop, but right now it isn't. That mortar's got two minutes of life left. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Maybe I won't resupply it then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, re -ammo, sending it some ammo might not be optimal. I have a feeling there's a very. Ooh, that's a good hit. Jesus. Yeah, I um, got really lucky with that shot. <laughs> I'm gonna just try something, and, uh, you know, if, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, alright? No. That's uh, that's life in the raw. Just trying to save up some points right now. There. You go. <laughs> oh God. It's quiet. Hey. 
Yeah, this is not sub supposed to be like that. I mean, I have a plan. Just waiting eagerly. Is this like that Christmas moment where for? What do you mean moment? you have a plan? It's my turn to capture that flag. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking about that flag anymore. Oh, I see. See, maybe we should ah, just call the war off. Call the war off, yeah. Time out. Time out. Take back, seize. Oh my god. Somebody's hurt over here. Damn, time out. Hold on, guys. Alright, like I, I said... Something... Oh, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. I was making a joke, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, but I'm just doing a thing. Hey, do your I'll thing support thing. you with that, with, uh... Okay. Land infantry. Don't let or it, at least try. You. Don't let anyone tell you that being you is wrong. That's right. You do you. You do you, my friend. You do okay. you. Okay, that you was awesome. Oh, look, excellent timing. You brought some people up there. Oh god, oh god, that guy. He got Told you, I'd support you. I'll support you in anything you do. Emotionally. Did I get that grenade before you threw it? is the most important nope. one. Realistically, I will defend this, though. I will Storm pioneer. Alright, let's see how he handles this! Okay, that was cinematic. The sniper taking out the one enemy on the way there. Oh my god, that push. <laughs> oh, he's got flamethrowers! Yes! Why would anyone bring fire? It's a uh, stumpion here, it's what so they do. Oh my god. Oh, it's a whole other company! At the very, oh, yeah. I didn't at the very like least, guys. it's a good distraction. So for that, I'm very grateful. Well, also it was free, so I didn't really care for it. Well, I didn't really we care really for these men. Well, let's be fair. Them. The German taxpayers paid for it. Let's nothing's free. Oh my god! <laughs> Get away from me! Get out of here! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> well, you know. I guess in the end, it did give. It took away some of our points, then, correct? But I guess we took some of their points away, so. It was exciting, and you know what? Sometimes that's all that matters. Truly. There are still trees in Russia burning because of what you did with that flamethrower. <laughs> um, they don't. That doesn't just go out. That's that's an effect that lasts. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you yeah, take that 251, I'm blowing the shit out of it. I'm just getting into it. No, no, no. I'm just blowing it up. I'm just oh, nice. It up. There you go. I just blew it up. Yeah, I did no. actually double tap L on it, but I'm not sure if it uh, did anything at the moment. I just want to shake his hand. I just want to shake his hand. I just want to punch him. I see our CP went up another 20 uh, because of mm -hmm. the third. Tier uh, three's opened. Yeah, that's correct. Gotcha. I actually didn't know that it would add CP over time. That's really cool. So my mortar's still alive, so I have to hold it to kill there. Um, the two minutes have gone. <laughs> oh, should, damn. Should oh, the bridge is out, and I gotta go around. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I have an idea. Oh, Time's out. <laughs> Did you actually buy? It? Oh, you bought an ammo crate for it. This is so sad. Hey, that ammo crate was. His, uh, shut up. That's <laughs> <laughs> his Just uh, I forgot something back here. I'm just coming to pick it up. All right. Yeah, no worries. You dropped your glasses or something. Yeah. Come get it. It's cool that you have to follow, well, you have to, but it's better to follow the roads in this. It's really cool, actually. I really like that. I didn't realize my ally had an SU-100 until he blew up something next to me. Um, <laughs> it's definitely cool. This is a bit oh, awkward. I can't see the pen it. Hello. Um, what's up, Rob? I can't see the pen. You're SU-100. How the... Um, how, how the heck did how, you get uh, that unit there? 
I don't know. I can't see the penetrator though. What it the is what it is. Uh, hey, do you want to shoot your own? Hang on, wait. I'll drive to the KV2, and then you shoot me and the KV2 at the same time, oh, okay? Oh my goodness, great. I don't have any AT guys here. Oh, I'm stuck. Um, oh god! God bless. <laughs> god bless you, SU-100. That was hilarious. That's interesting how he managed to sneak past everything. I, yeah, I drove on the main the road! I was talking like how I forgot something. I wasn't paying attention. Oh my just, god. Just straight up ran into us. I'm gonna laugh my heart off. That is awesome. No, I okay. drove up the, the flank a little bit, but... Maybe on like the ice river or something? Like, no, I no, know, I drove on I the, ro wasn't... the road to the south of That's the river. I was Rob really, uh, Rob really let us down here. <laughs> I got infantry there, I don't know what happened. I didn't see him. It's a stealth, huh? Sounds like a trip to the gulag. Do you think Stalin ever accepted, I don't know what happened? <laughs> <laughs> like that famous guy who may disappear, whose name I can never remember. Now I'm a little afraid. Yeah. That's normal. Uh, well, now the guns have realistic ranges, so your Tiger can outrange the KV-2 if that's what you're worried I was about. Just gonna but not the SD-101. Yeah, my KV-2 oh, is Tiger. Oh, Tiger, shit. I gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm assuming they knew it was coming the second this battle started. Well, I, I heard it, so but if we haven't seen it yet. Ah, uh, of course. He's got sound privilege. Damn. Yeah, I know what's up. Yeah, you wanna show me that KV? Oh, I'll show you the KV. I'll look, I'll, uh, yeah, maybe get a little closer with your tire. You can just pop this KV real easy. There's oh, I see, I got you. Come get it, it's right in the open. Oh Whoa. my god! Oh boy, Luther! That was uh, oh, Lord. very cinematic. Oh lordy coming! I saw the SU-100 like aiming and I'm like, oh wait, I should keep the KV-2 around. I was very cinematic from, uh, I was in direct control in the Tiger and I just see a huge explosion off to my side. Yeah, that's a preview of, a, of your Tiger. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Anyone know the Tiger's range off heart? Because then I'll know exactly how much to lure him. 230? Okay, I'll move back 10 meters. <laughs> no, stay here! Um, Sherman, this resupply crate, I'm gonna put it next to your Tiger. Okay. I don't... Oh wait, I need it for my cannon, sorry. Yeah, no worries, I... Uh... I have enough ammo. It'll probably die before I need to resupply it. Okay, that's cool. I do like that a lot. Pop in the smoke from the tiger. That's oh, really, don't you love that? That's yeah, really I cinematic. That. Hey. That's got the launcher, yeah. Don't shoot me. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> This middle area has been flattened. I literally have to build foxholes here because there is no usable cover anywhere right now. We issued you uh. a shovel, we expect you to use it. <laughs> of course, this is the way. If you do not have a shovel, the man next to you, you will pick up his shovel. Another light vehicle attack. No. Fake news. He's familiar with our lack of being oh, prepared. Nope. Actually, I have an AT infantry right there. Get away from me! I can't drive. My wheel broke. Well, stop driving into trees. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair cop. <laughs> 
running off with the people. That thing is actually quite useful. You are so screwed. I gotta outrun the turret! Oh yes! <laughs> no! No! Okay, the H100Y is gonna tear this a new one, probably. <gasps> oh god. Oh, the poor crew. The poor crew. What crew uh, is you? Oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Wow, did the, wait, did your heavy howitzer take it out? Oh, that was a very god. lucky shot. I wasn't even oh, aiming look at for that. the KV2. This is out of Bogdan's. This is Bogdan's strategy. It fell literally yeah, on the yeah. turret and that is now awesome. penetrated the armor. I'm gonna you say I helped with that. that. I have some help. I helped distract the KV to cause that. There you go. Oh well, you well, definitely you lit them up for me. You freed up some CP for me, so that's that's how, that's how I'll work this into a positive. The awkward There's thing an SU100Y really around there, Sherman. You sure this is a good idea? Yeah, I was trying to. I was hoping I could see it. I just saw it for a second. I like the phrase, are you sure this is a good idea? And how much underlying passive aggression there is. Oh, there you go. Ah. I hit like, it. Are you sure it's a good idea? I'm gonna bring an extra squad. Hopefully, they can spot for you. The bust open. Alright, I'm making moves towards center. This is, I'm, I'm done with this. Oh my god, this suicide rush across like a hundred meters of open ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very anti-climactic, I would say. Oh my god, there you go. Sorry, I'll turn it around over any of your defenses here. Oh, uh, he stepped into my tiger. <laughs> he walked into my tiger. Oh no, I've killed a man. How did my husband die? He walked himself in front of a tiger. This is so sad. There won't be an open casket. Uh, yeah. Let's just left. say that. Where did he die? Well, that's the funny thing. And I don't, I'm sorry the to say funny in such circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> but we actually found him in three different places. Oh my God. Are oh, you? that was really bad. There we go. Oof. A couple of grenades went off in a less than fortuitous way for me. I think your marines had grenades in their hands, and then my tiger's oh, 18 oh, made them blow up. That's that's quite likely, actually. That is very likely, especially if I give too many grenade orders at one time. Oh, is that a tr Oh my oh! god, I saw that! <laughs> oh, Were you preparing no. a shock that army like a right there, sir? Like a split. Like, what the heck was that? That was super cinematic from the tiger's, like, gun barrel. Saw like just everyone explode. Spoils of war. Now this land's not going to be able to be plowed for many years after <laughs> yeah. all this. I can tell oh you God. that. But we need to grow beets. Beets. We need to grow beets. Potatoes, comrade. Potatoes. My men were promised borscht, and we need beets. Look, they're all gonna die at this rate anyway, so... Oh, I think they got your infantry to shoot spec there. I'm throwing things at this flag and it's not working, so I'm gonna switch to uh, another strategy now. In Gates of Hell, infantry support tanks actually can capture flags and they're oh, pretty that's good right. at it. That is actually a genuinely good item. Oh, really? Right yeah. So that's what we're going to do now. Rush that's my small tank. I've been doing that lately too, and it's... it's Careful, Sherman, remember. on the left, on the left. Grenade guy on the left. I don't think my grenade guy realized the kill set left. It's just a, it's just a, a throwaway vehicle. If it lives, it lives. If it dies, it dies. Yeah, they're very useful in that sense. Uh, oh god! Their supportive role is kind of uh, amplified. It's kind of cool. Okay, that was. 
Okay, Killed up the point a little bit, I guess. Oh wow, that was a big. Oh, grenade. I think I just detonated a Molotov inside somebody's hand. Oops. Did that mortar just blow up my armored car. Damn, that was a. Uh... His name was Pyotr, and he was, he was a loyal proletariat hero. You will say his name. Oh, T-34 rushing on the left, Sherman. Yep. You will never get my tankette. <laughs> I will have to rotate. Oh, maybe you oh, will. <laughs> Just through the wall. Nice. And Very the engine's nice. on fire, so I'm not re-engaging. I'm just running away before I get hit by something. <laughs> oh, I can't see Riker it. Riker seemed to be firing at you. Nah. Get out of here. Can't really. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was a hit. Whoa! Watch where you aim that. Oh my god, there's people there. They're perfectly innocent. Well, there are perfectly Russian people over here. Perfectly Russian? Where is this tank? Oh, there. Oh, e ooh, ah. I saw. I see it. I see it. I. You're not tricking me. Man, I'm just <laughs> trying to repair tricking. it. I ain't tricking crap. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I need to figure out a solution for that tire. Props is like no, no, no crap, dude. So do you have an SG100Y around? Yeah, he does. I guess. I guess you call it that. I mean, I've seen that. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Come on. Just both missing each other. <laughs> yeah, we tried to make the ra the accuracies not be so good at long range. J so that it discourages staying at the far end, you know? Yeah, no, that's a good thing for sure. Oh, damn it. Um, and now is the moment where I need a tank. Oh, no! Oh, boy. That was really good timing for the SC-100 to hit no. Rob, so thank you. That's not good that at all. That was fortuitous. What is this? How did you manage to destroy the pride of German engineering? This is not allowed. <laughs> Perfect lower glaciers hit. Got to support all those tanks I got out there way in no man's land that have no infantry around them. <laughs> I better go help them. Combined raid on the on the ice. How about that? Oh yeah, put all my tanks on ice. It's brilliant. Counterattack. We actually lost a lot of. Well, we actually didn't lose that many points because doctrine units are not penalized by kill points. Oh, okay. That's another trade of them. So if you lose a tiger, it doesn't actually give them that much of a score. But this T-34 they're about to lose may be an entirely different story. Unless it was a doctor fight. Of course. Unless. And considering I have two of them that both came with infantry on the back. There we go. Nice. That's one. Uh-oh. There's your 100 wise moving up. I did it. I just saw a shell fly into the camera view. Holy crap. That was <laughs> like directly in my face. <laughs> and the lens didn't break? I'm just kidding. I'm scared. There's a lot of infantry in that point right now. Yeah, yeah, we need to we need to take it back. Uh, I want to. Oh, what happened to my... Oh, here it is. A grand effort must be made. The loss of the tiger has had a very strong blow on our morale. No! I couldn't pen you. Or it didn't well, the loss of all this farmland is a huge hit on our beet production. Whoa! Those big things, eh? Oh, there we go. I think I knocked out his 
T-34 on the left, this oh, one? Oh, I, li I literally forgot I had that. But I, I, I mean, <clears throat> good shot. The center flag has been contested so many times, left and right, that the, the duration of the game is now exceeding what would be the usual one. Because this game has been so uh, close, so to speak. It's been, we've been, we went back and forth so much on that one flag. Dude, did that left tank not die? Oh, nice. Wow. That kill feed, though. Oh, are you kidding me? I, I had HE loaded instead of AP. This is so, and I hit the SU-100. So much wood splinters being projected in every possible direction at this point. Okay, I got that armored car. Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> So is life in Blizzard. Is there a way to replenish the smoke on the on vehicles? Uh oh, uh, oh what's that? Oh, yeah, there's right. an M30 firing around. No, really? What what hit I'm gonna it? I'm gonna try something. <laughs> Same as before. Rob's is so ominous, just same as before. Yeah. Stop bullying. Well, he, he speaks the truth, though. He speaks the truth, true. Now then. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Knows now. Kiel officially no. No. Oh, God, that's a whole other company. Um. Deploying a smoke screen, even. Oh, I did not Very come empty handed. It's a whole other company, oh god. No! Uh, oh god! Okay, that was an awesome destroy. Oh god, it's a whole other company on this oh, side too. I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad that worked because I was not confident. You were not entirely convinced. <laughs> I was not confident that was going to do What is over here, Robs? What the hell? Well, he's obviously uh, turned around, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's on Sherman's side I've been also sending tons and tons and tons of infantry, so uh, that might be what Sherman's running into now. Get out of here, I'll just run you over, I don't care. Luckily you're running over Rob's infantry, not mine. Oh god. Hey, well, that's a sacrifice I has I had to make, I guess. Oh god. The amount of grenades. They all have grenades. I still have a position deep inside their lines, covered by smoke. What will be better against the SU-100? Why? Heat or just pure um, AP? I start with a couple of hit areas. I see you found my machine gun position. Did none of them get their grenade off? Good grief, you guys are awful. What do you mean? You blew up my tank. Very no, well played. The, the, the F2? No, oh, there's, yeah, yeah, there's two here, but... Oh, I thought I didn't get the F2. That yeah, no, you got, you got my F2 at least. That's for sure. Oh god, that's a jeep, or a, a thing. Get that the flanking way. move was very good, unexpected. Congrats. Smoke! Wow, your F2 actually bounced a shot. Yeah, I heard, I heard and saw that. <laughs> Game is designer that is appalled at that possibility. Ooh, I saw that shell. Lana saw that shell. Man, using the F2 to joust infantry is a... Uh... Soviet, no. Come on! Oh, good lord. No, not the Alright, here comes the flag. Here comes the flag. Turn it over. Let's go, let's go! No! 
No, what the hell? Oh. You're driving! <laughs> that was the end of it. Is it... Is it not dead? <laughs> is it normal to see fire? Well... It, yes! Oh, that's not ideal. You, yeah, well... Eventually... It will happen, Sherman. Did oh, you drive oh, it out? Oh, actually, that's the snow for you. Oh, yeah, well, maybe the snow put it out. And he was always driving at a constant speed. <laughs> that probably helped. The wind. Oof, that was a direct hit. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Uh, you took your ball and you're going home? Choice. Oh! Oh! I don't know what that was a direct hit. That was awesome. Yeah, the hall would serve. Yeah. S similar fate to the uh, KV2, in fact. Oh, there's a tree in front of my machine gun. Yeah, they'll do that. They'll grow right out of the ground. That is, uh. Gonna have to be chopped down, I think. Oh, look at that, hey, I did it! Hey, this is a military adventure, okay? This isn't, let's not get into the ecological attack. Of burning half the trees in Russia. We're nowhere near half yet. Uh, let's use more smoke! Let's, uh, that's what we'll do. We're both flanking each other. Well... War sometimes requires such measures. When the uh, defense it. line is oh, secured, I suppose. You set up a very solid defense line, Sherman, on the southern side. Very good. I, I tried. My doctrine has got an engineering Kettenkrad, which comes with two engineers. I tried to build trenches and a uh, line of barbed wire, but unfortunately, events transpired and I could only build two trenches. So but that's, grenades. for example, a trait of the defensive doctrine. Oh yeah, that's. I was wondering what that was, and then I blew it up, and the kill feed told me it was an engineering vehicle, and I was like, oh, that's what he thought. <laughs> Is that your method of identifying vehicles, yeah, kill killing feed, them 100%. and seeing what happens? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like determining from dental records. <laughs> Oof. Oh, there's a lot of bad grenades about to hit me. I think he will call them good grenades. Yeah, I guess from his perspective, yeah. Dig in, boys. Oh my god. Oh, wait, what did you do to my machine gun position? Rip. Oh, I advanced on it with smoke and stuff and blew it up with grenades, but then I had died, so... We're both kind of in this weird position. <laughs> oh god! Uh, uh, that's a medic you're shooting at? That's a bit rude. Yeah, that's fine. Acceptable casualties. <laughs> hey, we didn't say that Geneva. Uh-oh. That's what some of us refer to as a tank. <laughs> some of us? What would you refer it to if not? A inconvenient? That seems like an old brainer to me. steel vessel? steel conveyance that is carrying a cannon towards my men. It's um... You could it's also refer to the, uh, that in certain cases. A sports utility vehicle? Oh my god. It's a mean no. sports utility vehicle? That's too vague. It's uh, it's good to see that the Tiger <laughs> isn't as strong as I thought it would be in this. Like it was definitely killable, which uh, is a good thing. Because I, I figured it would maybe be very strong. So it not being strong is actually a very good thing. 
Oh, it's strong. It's just not SU-100 strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess the SU-100 is as good as a Panzer IV F2, apparently. It's as good as a naval gun, because I'm pretty sure that's what the uh, Russians put on it. Yeah. It's a B-13, I think. 130mm naval gun. Mounted yeah, on is. destroyers, cruisers. Yeah, they were literally like, just put that sucker on a tank, we're good. Was a very effective weapon. Yeah, I know. It's actually. You just had to find something big enough different. to put it in, you know. <laughs> because it's so like, hey, let's just put this big gun on that. I just love it. It's mad lad energy. God damn! Honestly, that artillery you got back there. It's godlike, I know. We are sure to lose, unfortunately. Turn it around. It's up to you. It's up or to is me it? and my spirit and the fighting spirit of my men. Thank you for clearing out some of those trees. I can move, a yeah, yeah. move around yeah. a little more freely um, now. Yeah. This is free <laughs> real estate. Oh, stop artillery me. Just all the beats I'll be able to plant. My Foshi Meager need to heal. Yeah, you got time for that. No! That's a bully. Come on, don't tell me you're dead. That gun is very good for our little annoying... It's a like, low velocity howitzer. Damn. Is that a flak I hear? I sure hear a flak or something terrible. There's only one thing that sounds that good. It sounds like a 20 millimeter cannon or something. 37. Oh god, you hit my- stop hitting my FG- or my MG42! There we go. <laughs> you had enough of it. I was- honestly, I was like, this game is gonna end, I want that thing dead. I'm happy you died. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh god, the flame blower. No, this is not the way I wanted this to be. Not nice. Come on. Oh, that was so far off from where I targeted it. Yeah, you gotta teach your crew how to aim, bro. Yeah, they're fired. It's alright. <laughs> teach your crew how to aim, bro. That is funny as hell. I'm sorry. Oh, 10 points. Oh, look at all those things on fire. Beautiful fire. The MG sounds so good. Oh, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> no, it still sounds good. He's just dead. Oh, it sounded good. good in an ephemeral sense. Oh, that was a direct hit. Yeah, I guess you taught them this time. Yeah, I did actually. I was like, why well, just threaten them with uh, Gulag? Aren't you the Germans? Well, you know, I'll just hand him over. Him that was uh, that was an awesome game. Yeah, that was a funny one.